All right, hey guys, Brian Jackson, Team Jackson Kicking, and this week uh, is going to be our first video on some informative uh, guidance from myself. Uh, the topic is emailing coaches. The first thing you need to do is uh, starting, you know, whether you're a sophomore or junior in high school, and even if it's too late in your mind, it's not too late, your senior year in high school, is develop a list of colleges uh, that you can see yourself realistically going to play at. Um, don't just stack up a bunch of Division 1A schools. Look at a broad range of Division 1A, Division 1AA, Division 2, II, Division 3, NAIA, and junior college schools. There's numerous colleges out there that are looking for kickers, punters, and long snappers. And if you have a good GPA, an ACT, and or SAT score, you have a chance of getting financial aid and still playing um, at the college level. So understand that. Get a list of some, some bigger schools that you really like that are around you and also do a big search of schools all across the nation and start narrowing it down to about 100 to 150 schools that you can see yourself realistically going to with your ability, with your team, um, with people that have evaluated you, with all those different aspects, set yourself up for greatness. Um, when you're emailing a coach, you need to be proactive. Okay, um, Coaches are extremely busy. Um, they have a lot of things that are going down, so they might not have a chance to check your email. So make sure you're in the subject line, you're stating something very precise and to the point. Um, if I'm a kicker and I'm interested in um, Baylor University, in the subject line I'll put class of 2013, kicker, and, and maybe my name. Okay. Um, as far as the actual email, make sure you address the coach by name. So coach such and such, comma, and then what you need to do is have a couple paragraphs within that email that describe you, um, tells everything about who you are as far as generic information. Uh, you need to know what year you're graduating, um, what position that you play in, whether you're a kicker or a punter, a long snapper, or you even do kicker and punter. Um, you also need to put in your contact information and also put your coach's contact information. There's certain periods where they cannot contact you but they can contact your coach. Okay, you also need to put in there your GPA, your ACT, your SAT scores, and also some some film. Make sure you put your, your game film and also film that you have from different camps. That's imperative. The biggest thing on this is being proactive. Um, don't expect a response right away. Don't expect a response in the third or fourth time. I've had numerous players that I've worked with that can attest to saying, I've emailed the coach nine or ten times and it took the 11th time before they finally called me. So um, just understand that, keep it short, sweet, and simple. And the last thing is, is don't just send the email off. Have your friend, have your parent, have a sibling, look over it and make sure there's no grammar um, issues, there's no error, and make sure that it all sounds good and sounds professional because those two paragraphs can, all, can also emulate who you are. Okay, so sound good. Um, Put all the information that you need to put in there, but don't make it too long because the coach might just read the first couple sentences and see that it's an extremely long email and just say, you know, I'm not going to look at it. All right, so that's what I got for right now. If you need more information, email me at teamjacksonkicking at yahoo.com and also check out teamjacksonkicking.com, uh, hashtag um, TJKCamps.